What's going on, guys? Look, I got some tips for y'all. I got some tips for y'all. When you start out being new, man, I know how crazy it can be, man. It can be a headache. It's, it can be wild, man, because you knew you first driving this big, dangerous. This is a big missile. I call it a big missile because it's super dangerous. You can kill somebody with a truck. Um, but I'm going to give y'all some tips, man, and stuff you should avoid when you, know, when you first get out here. When you first getting started, stuff you should avoid and some good tips for y'all so y'all can kind of know what to do. I'm going to start out with this. Make sure you do good trip planning, man. Uh I got. I use a truck GPS in the truck, and I also do use my atlas in the map. The atlas, man. Look, if you don't know how to look, do the atlas, I'm gonna make a video for y'all soon. But Maverick gonna show you how you use the atlas. But if you don't know how to do it, Maverick gonna show you. But I'm gonna show y'all what you do. I'm gonna show y'all how to use the map for y'all. The atlas for y'all go down there. So you don't wanna be driving on the road, guys, and try to trip plan. Then you wanna park trip plan and just know what areas you're gonna go through you're gonna go to the interstate that interstate um write it down man write it down my trainer wrote his stuff down he was showing me that way um or you get a erasable marker and write it on your front windshield so you won't forget they even recommend that in the classroom so and that's what i would do the next thing man <sighs> practice man practice this because sometimes you have to bag up depending what area you going to uh going through to pick up your load or whatever i would take out 20 minutes 30 minutes out of my day and i would go to a truck stop empty empty truck stop and just practice bagging up straight back all that uh parking like parallel parking just like you're going to see this i'll practice maneuver but really just practice bagging up in the parking spot when you learn how to do that it just get easy from that straight back offset 90 learn all that stuff just practice it just get comfortable using the truck man just 20 minutes 30 minutes out of the day i know it's been like man i don't feel like doing that but look if you do that it's gonna pay off in the long run because when you get to these places it's gonna be easy for you to to get in and look don't worry about you know how you first starting off you might okay you pick on these low these flatbed loads whatever you might be at the place still chaining, still tarping, and you might get done late. And that happened to me before. Sometimes you go to places. Uh, I know it out in Vida, Texas. If you had slinkies, I've been, been. I remember, but they got overnight parking, so you good for if you go there pick up them slinkies. But let's just say you get to a place and you they end up keeping there longer than you expected, and you got your load and you got some little time to drive, and it's a little bit late. You might get to a truck stop, man, that is kind of tight. But as you practice, man, you practice, practice doing the truck when, so you can, you practice bagging up the truck on your off time and you get in a situation like that, you're going to feel more confident because you've been practicing. It's, it's, it's second nature now. So that's the main thing. Cause you might end up going, I feel like everybody can go through that situation, man. You drive a truck, you're going to get to a situation like, dang, I don't even know I can bag up, you know, Bag up between these two trucks because I know when I first started, I did not do that. I did not do that. And I was scared because I was worried about, dang, why I hit the truck and I got to do a police report. You got to break out that fear and you got to not worry about the next guy or the guy behind you waiting for you to bag up your truck. Do not worry about them. Get out and look because, man, you don't want to be doing a report. You ain't want to add this on your record. Um, I'm not saying you're gonna get fired because look man i'm gonna be honest with y'all i hear some stuff like i i hear stuff in the past and, you know i ain't get fired but you just don't want to call safety you know you don't want to get you don't want to talk to them <laughs> but they give you some tips but you just don't want to i'm just trying to avoid trouble you know as much as i can i'm not trying to deal with i'm just trying to do my work get paid and go home man but just take your time and just practice it you know, uh, if you feel like you can't get in the spot, man, you got some truck driver that will get out and help you get it in there. So don't don't be scared to talk to other truck drivers. You see, if you're struggling and they don't come out and help you, hey, it's sometimes I put my window down and I wait like, look, can you come help me? And they'll get out and help you because they know how it is when you first started, man. Um, they know how it is. The next tip I got for you is... Let me see. If it's possible, man, if it's possible for y'all, girls and boys, start early. If you can start, 
I say if you can start around early, early in the morning, you can get done early in the morning. Because I'm going to be honest, man. I know if you in Na around Nashville area or around Atlanta area, like the major cities, and it's like after five, man, it'd be kind of hard to find a parking spot. If you can start at, start your clock early in the morning and just get done around like 12 or 1, you in the game because you can find so much, so much parking. And then if you got a little time left in your clock, you can practice bagging. So the name of the game, start early and get done early. Because I remember starting like late sometimes. Not super late, but I don't know what time you start. I used to start a little bit later in the day, and I get done like, by nine o'clock, by nine to eight, and you know I was new, and you know all that different loads you had to do like tarping and securing all type of loads, and and he secured me. I could I would be driving all day just trying to find a little parking spot sometime, and um and sometimes I had to call the standard like look I'm still looking for a parking spot, and. Uh, can you note it for me? I had to, I had to call the stennis early in the early in the game. As I start getting, you know, more experience, you know, it got better and better. But the main thing is, you start early in the day, you can get done. Start early in the day, so you can go ahead and get done with that stuff, and you won't be struggling to find a parking spot like I did. And cause then plus, you don't want to pay for the parking spot, cause some some of these truck stops they lost their mind. They want you to pay twenty, thirty dollars for a parking spot for one night. You can build your pile of points up, whatever, but just twenty dollars for a parking spot is ridiculous. So those are the tips I can give you guys for right now. I might come up with some later, but main thing is just trip plan, practice bagging up that truck, and make sure you start early so you can get done early. And then, plus, you get done earlier, you can drop your load off. You can be next on the load board. So, that's what it, it's just also depending what time your, your place open up, too. But a lot of these places like to be open early, early as possible, anyway. So, um, that pretty much it for the video. Y'all got any questions about marriage, transportation, flatbed questions, Jerry? I'd be glad to help. My information screen. Get back with y'all later.